think that you pay down debt by borrowing more, that you stop inflation by printing money, and that you fight the drug overdose crisis by legalizing hard drugs. So at least they're consistent in their irrationality, Mr. Speaker. But now they've been forced to backtrack right before the election on their legalization of hard drugs because Canadians are revolting against the policy. Today we have a motion that will be voted in the House to permanently ban hard drugs. Will this government vote for that motion or will they admit that they plan to, to, to legalize drugs again? after the next election. The, Deputy, the Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative leader is wearing more makeup than I am today. Now, I think it's wonderful. I'm going to ask colleagues... Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance to withdraw that comment. We don't comment on the appearances of members. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of uh, Finance. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm sorry, I withdraw that comment. You can continue with her. She has 25 seconds left on the clock for her answer. Um, the fact is, Mr. Speaker, the Conservative leader is phony all the way through. He is phony when it comes to his concern about the economy. All he can do is talk our country down. And he is phony when he talks about his concern about the opioids crisis. He tries to score cheap partisan points. It's just not right, Mr. Speaker. That's right.